busy, Mickey. I love you. Hey, girl, hit me up when you're single. Let me get a piece of that ass. <laughs> uh, shit. Drake, what, what the hell, man? You're four hours late. <laughs> and, uh, who is you? My name's Wolfie. I'm the producer of your next album, More Views. Nah, hey, nah, can't do that. Nah, no new friends. No new friends, no new friends, no, 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 no. I literally wrote those lyrics for you. I've ghostwritten like a million of your songs. We've worked together a million times. Hey, I don't know about that, man. I'm out of here, yo. Six, 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 six. Drake, no! Oh, fuck, he's gone. All right, guys, I guess it's just up to you and me to write this Drake song. Dr Drake, Drake. <laughs> Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do is find like an old school, vintage, kind of shitty but not shitty sounding organ, like this. You know, it's got that cool, spacey vibe to it. Drake likes to use that in like a ton of his songs. So Drake likes to use a lot of minor scales, you know, they give it that kind of sad, like emotional, deep vibe to it. So we're just going to use um, an A minor scale here and pretty much just, it's really simple. Just work your way down and back up the scale like so. Nothing crazy. So Drake likes to have a little bit of influence of old school hip hop in his song. Cause when you're singing about soft shit, you gotta have that balance of hardness. So for this, we're gonna use this like dope snare. But I don't know, that's not as like dope as I want it to sound. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out all the high end frequencies and it's gonna sound like this. Dope. So here's what we got so far. Next, we got the most important part of any Drake song, and that is the li lyric. Li fuck, dude. The lyrics. That was too high pitched. What, what the fuck was that? Maybe. The <sighs> you want to sing about some real, real tough hardships that you went through go growing up, such as you know, s starting from the bottom. You know, growing up in a middle class family, and you, you know, like being Canadian, or even like having a girl's name. You know, me and Aubrey, we, we both have that, I relate to him on that level. We connect, we connect spiritually because we both have girls' names. We're gonna, we're gonna sing about a girl who, you, you gave her everything, but now she, she doesn't want it and, and she doesn't appreciate your efforts anymore. If you're stuck there, here's a few tips. Drake likes to sing about how him and this girl grew up together, because I guess every girl he dates, he's known since his childhood. He's a lot of figurative words that also can be used literally in a different way. For example, calling your friend my dog, but then after that, actually singing about like like an animal, like a, singing about a dog. We used to kick it on the playground. You was my dog, Greyhound. You want to make sure that you're not mad, just disappointed. During the intro of the song, you gotta make sure you, you say some hard sounding shit with a Jamaican accent, even though you're not Jamaican. Something like, you know, keep it a hundred. Keep it a hundred. I'm sorry, I can't. I cannot do a, dr a fucking Jamaican accent. All right, guys, and we're pretty much done. The last step is just hire over 70 people to produce, ghostwrite, mix, master, and pretty much create your entire album, and you're set. Yes, ho yes, hello, sir. This is Wolfie, the producer. I, I heard you're the best in the game. Is it true? Get, get the fuck over here, we need you. Holy shit! Sir, sir, hello, so, it's great to see you. Let's do this shit. So if you do all, all that shit right, then you're gonna have a product that looks something like this. Uh, oh shit, let's, <clears throat> let's do this. You gotta keep it 100. Real thingy. Yeah. Why do I chase women who hurt me? She say she love me, but she don't deserve me Why do I never know what words to say? Why do I lose every game I play? Yeah, we used to kick it on the playground Yeah, you were my dog, Greyhound So tell me the truth Why don't you introduce me to parents? I care so much, but you careless You don't know what to wear, I said wear this you always yelling and screaming You want me to stay but I'm leaving You leave me out of the picture I just wanna paint you a picture Girl I ain't mad just disappointed You asked which way was right and I pointed Posting your aspects up on the gram I knew that ass before I had fans Remember who you are and who you am So I say to myself God damn, God damn.
Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel, drop a like, and uh, you can follow me on my social media at SimplyArya on Instagram. So make sure you follow me there because I post sneak previews on my videos there all the time. So nice to meet all the new subscribers coming in. So thankful for that, guys. I'm going to drop some woke knowledge on you guys. Um, Drake is one of the best rappers in the whole fucking game. Everyone who talks shit on Drake, I, I don't get it because he's fucking killing it in multiple genres. Um, says the guy who just roasted Drake for three minutes straight. Yeah, I know, right? Shut the fuck up. Who cares? Drake is actually extremely talented and one of my favorite artists personally. I like to do these videos for fun. Makes you guys happy. Makes me happy. I'll see you fucking next week, bruh. Bye!